Original vs Definitive, which version is better when completing Salvatore's Core Meeting? In this mission you visit the cafe where Tony Cipriani usually hangs out. Instead of talking to him, however, you read a letter, travel to Joey's garage to pick up a limo and of course Joey too, drive to Luigi's club and pick up the Pope. Just kidding, you pick up Luigi, drive your limo to Tony's and pick up, of course, Tony, and finally drive all his knuckleheads to Salvatore's mansion to meet the Don. We'll compare tasks, execution, speedrun tactics and gameplay. Both games are vanilla, played on PC, my name is Bad Infos, leave a like and subscribe for more of the same. Now let's see how Salvatore's score meeting compares between both versions. There's nothing new I can say about the opening cutscene, as it's almost exactly the same as the previous one from a different video. How about the next cutscene, the limo cutscene? In this one we can finally see the garage in its full glory, a nice wide view shot of it. The great thing about the Definitive Edition is that since it's HD, we can see even more like for instance the second set of windows on the right and the extra blue things on the left. You can take a good look at the lighting solution too. In the original we have sunlight and that's why it's so bright, but in the definitive we use the lights on the ceiling. Also in the original as you can see, Joey is taking his time, no rush, no nothing. In the definitive he actually sprints to the car, it moves things along, so thank you Joey. When you get out in the original there's always a chance that you'll scratch or dent your newly acquired limo since you don't have full control of the camera. This has been a big pet peeve of mine and I've I've always hated how they place you. In the definitive this issue was fixed because now you can look in all directions, wait for traffic and then speed off. Luigi in the original works the same exact way, super slow and steady. In the definitive he sprints because he's more excited to meet Salvatore I guess. And again, Tony is the same, he is ultra slow in the original since the distance is longer, in the definitive is this a problem? Nope, full sprint to the car. The rest of the drive is the same and the placement of the triads is no different. Salvatore's garage in the original is completely empty, while in the definitive he has lots of crap in it. I wonder why he doesn't clean it up. I mean he is the Dawn of Dawn so he has to look a bit respectable at least. As for Salvatore, he has aged backwards with the definitive, he looks a bit younger but the look is still similar. The only difference in the cutscene apart from the bad definitive characters is the guard. In the original he wears glasses while in the definitive he does not. That is it. In the speedrun what you do is when you stop at Tony's, you turn the car like this so that when the triad bumps into you, you don't fly backwards. This way you can beeline straight to the mansion. Since the spawns haven't changed, the same can be done in the definitive edition as well. As for rating, a point goes to the definitive. Not much difference honestly, but I love looking around when I get out of Joy's garage and also love how everybody sprints to the limo. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know what you think in the comments below, leave a like if you enjoyed, thank you for watching and a very special thank you to my top channel members and patrons, Monish Pradeep, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson, LMP Racing, House the Chowder, Smokey and everybody else on the screen, become a supporter today.